All right, Spectrum here. We're ready to do some combat. I went and uh, I have 14 missiles, so that we're going to show uh, the concept of using missiles. There's an enemy base in this system right here, so I'm going to click on it. We'll accelerate. We'll go into there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop into the system, and there's a little button here that will take me back to warp immediately, and then that will trigger the enemies. Okay, so now the enemies are in this system. I'm going to set maximum missile. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to return to the system itself. Now you can see my missile is there, it's coming in, it just took out that guy completely. So you can see that missiles are very damaging to smaller ships. Now I'm going to go into combat mode, which will then lock my camera on the enemy ship and myself at the same time. And you can see my forward laser hit him, um, and it did a little bit of hull damage. I'm going to turn, now you can see both lasers hit him right there, and hit him in the rear. There we go. And you can see I'm doing quite a bit of damage to the aft. Turn around, and this should do it. Got him. Okay. There you go. Okay, so let's talk real quick. I jumped into the system. I went back out of the system immediately, which then let me be able to see those ships. Once I saw the ships, I could get a missile lock. One of them got a missile, and I locked on the other one with the lasers, with a lock and then I fired. Now, the point of that was, was to hit them in the rear. Now, at this point, I can see that this is not a bad little planet. It has uh, 40,000 population, 60 guns. That's, 60 guns will destroy a scout. So it, about 12 guns would destroy a sh scout. I don't have any fighters, I don't have any troops at this point. Because if you remember in dry dock, we took out the ability to carry those so I could get more fuel. But this system also has uh, fuel at one of the planets. So let's go into orbit of that guy. We'll get over here and enter into orbit. And I'm going to scoop fuel. So I'm ready for the next one. And I hit them so hard so fast they didn't do any damage to my ship. That very, is very unusual, by the way. And uh, they should respawn another ship because they don't like people in their systems. I'm going to keep moving because it's better to be moving than have to start accelerating. So let's come around here and we should see another ship. I'm going to stop the video until we get a, another ship. So I will see you when the other ship spawns again. All right, so ship just spawned. I click immediately. I lock the lasers onto the target. I'm going to lock my camera on so I can see the ship. I'm going to turn. Now he's headed out to missile range, so let's go ahead and let him launch a missile. He's penetrated my shields. Okay, so I just lost him, um, the target. Now, there's a missile coming in at me at this point. There it is. There's the missile. The ship stayed in hyperspace. That's interesting. Okay, so you never know what they're going to do. So I'm going to lock a laser on this missile. I then have my fire button. Single fire detonates and destroys that ship. Um, the other ship I'm assuming is still in hyperspace and is going to launch another missile at me. Let's give them just a moment to see if they fire it. Okay, I don't see anything. So, I can take a chance and go to hyperspace and lock very quickly, but most likely they'll hit me with a missile before I can do anything. So, the best choice is not to go to hyperspace with no... Uh, direction. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell it, hey, fly to the jump gate. Don't know. Okay, so there's a jump gate. So I know a jump gate in this guardian system, or I could just go ahead and fly to the imperial base. So I'm going to head and fly to the imperial base. Oh, hit me with a missile. Oh, got me on the missile. Launch a missile again. Oh, they got me. Okay, now, Galaxius is unusual because ships are just ships they don't take weeks to build or anything else I'm gonna go ahead and say my colonies and I built a colony here locally so I can just rebuild here and come back to the system quickly do not be afraid to lose a ship because ships are destroyed all the time and to get the new ship I just hit create and there is my new ship okay um, 
I lost my missiles that I had, but I have a new ship. So what you lose is what you had on the ship. Now, as you get larger and larger ships, there are battles that we've had in the past where players may end up making 10 or 20 dreadnoughts, okay? Dreadnoughts will cost you about um, five to 600, depending, 100,000 metal, depending on um, how much warp drive you put on, that kind of thing. But we've had battles to where you just keep losing ships. You just go make another one and come back. And uh, so that's, that's what it's all about in combat in Galaxius. There's your basic concepts. Watch the video a couple of times. It may help. Other, the only thing it's going to teach you is experience. All right. Good luck.